Welcome back to Clutch Picks, everybody. We don't pull out the Jets jersey unless it's absolutely necessary. And if you know, you know. We're going to get into it. Let's go. I predicted another score correct, Commanders and Ravens. The Ravens win this one 30-23. And the Ravens win it. It's 30-23 final, Baltimore. Got that one on the dot, baby. Oh, it's such a good feeling when I nail one of those scores. Let's go. First, let's get started with Thursday Night Football. The Broncos and the Saints. The Saints have to rock their backup QB, Spencer Rattler, for a couple weeks. And they were absolutely destroyed last week. And then we have the Broncos, who suffered pretty much the same fate. I thought they would ride off momentum, and that was completely wrong. This week, I think the Saints, with the injuries they're facing, are not going to be looking at good times going forward. And I think we see the Broncos get back on track against the Saints. And a close one, I think Denver picks up the victory 23-20. to Patriots and Jaguars. The Jags, they lost last week in London. They are still going to be in London this week, and they will be taking on the Patriots, who also lost last week. But Drake May made his first start, and he was airing that ball out. I'm not going to lie. And I do think we saw enough air and pass attack from Drake May in his first start to where he will be able to handle Jacksonville no problem. So I think New England barely wins this one across the pond, 27-24. to 24. Giants and Eagles. The Giants lost last week, but they kept it close with the Bengals in the Eagles, they barely beat the Browns last week. So going into this matchup, the Giants, their defense has been keeping them in games, and their offense hasn't looked absolutely horrendous as it usually has in past seasons. The Eagles have not looked as dominant as they should be. They've still been winning, but they should be winning more dominantly, more points on the board. And I think we're actually going to see a close battle here between these two division rivals. However, I think Philadelphia does end up winning. I think the Giants keep it close and I think Eagles win this one 24 to 20. Seahawks and Falcons. The Falcons took care of the Panthers no problem as they should. They've been looking great with Kirk Cousins getting into that quarterback spot and allowing those skill players to finally shine. And you have the Seahawks who were absolutely embarrassed by the 49ers. Our offense could not keep up with theirs one bit and I think that is going to be the same thing this week. Ever since Kirk took over in Atlanta the offense has been high scoring. It has been electric and I think we are going to see the same thing this week. I don't think the Seattle offense is going to be able to keep up with them for four quarters. And unfortunately, I think my Seahawks lose this one to the Falcons 30 to 23. Titans and Bills, both of these teams were in a three point difference game last week. The Titans only lost by three points. The Bills only won by three points. And the Bills, they added a huge weapon to their offense, Amari Cooper, who I think is going to be a favorite target of Josh Allen after losing. Using Stephon Diggs, and I think the offense of Tennessee is definitely going to get rolled over by Buffalo's defense, and the offense is going to go crazy now with that new addition of Cooper, and I think we're going to see a very high-scoring affair against Tennessee. I think Buffalo handles this one no problem, 31-17. to Bengals and Browns, the Browns have looked horrible all season long, and they're going to look even worse without Amari Cooper. Not like that offense was lighting the world on fire. Deshaun Watson cannot run that offense for his life and Joe Burrow is using all of his life all of his energy to try and run the Cincinnati offense he is doing everything he can to keep them in their games it's the defense that has been selling them and I don't think that'll be a problem this week with how bad they have been on the offensive side of the ball in Cleveland I think Joe Burrow is finally going to have a week where he can relax on his way to victory and I think they will pick up the win over Cleveland 24 to 14 Texans and Packers the Packers won last week against the Cardinals. Jordan Love looks like he's getting back into the groove after returning from injury. And the Texans, they have been in the groove all season long. That offense is so dominant. C.J. Stroud has so many weapons he can get the ball to. And he himself is a weapon. So I think this offense is too scary good for any team to handle right now. They are too hot. And even though the Packers have been rolling ever since Jordan Love has returned, I think it will be close. 
close. I just don't think the Packers will have enough to keep up with everything that Houston is running offensively. So give me the Texans winning this one, 30 to 24. Dolphins and Colts. The Dolphins were on a bye week last week, and the Colts, they picked up a victory over the Titans, barely escaping with that one. And I think we are going to see the same thing this week. Ever since Joe Flacco took over, he has been playing very good for Indianapolis. And whether it's him or Anthony Richardson coming in this week, I think it'll be no problem as long as there's no Tua at quarterback for Miami. That offense has looked stinky terrible, nasty. It is something that has not been fun to watch in Miami, and I think we are going to see that continue until Tua comes back, which is supposed to be very soon, but not yet. And I think Joe Flacco, Anthony Richardson, whoever it is, is going to be able to lead this offense to a victory over Miami, 23-17. to Lions and Vikings. Vikings were on a bye week last week, and they are undefeated with Sam Darnold at the helm. He is having a resurgence of a year, and the Lions Lions. They are pissed off. They are angry. They absolutely slapped the Cowboys side to side, up, down, left, and right, all over their home turf last week. And I think they're going to continue to play with that anger, that momentum. And even though they're playing a tough team in Minnesota, I think they are going to show everybody why they are one of the best teams in the league right now. I think Minnesota will keep it close, but I think in the end, they will come out of this with the victory. Detroit, 27 to 24. Commanders and Panthers, the Panthers lost last week. Shocker, not really. And the Commanders, they lost, but they were able to show they have some sort of hope in their future against the Ravens in that loss. And this week, I think we are going to see Carolina continue to stink it up. It looked like they had a little bit of happiness when Andy Dalton took over, but then they returned right back to the Panthers, we all know. And I think it has been a fun, enjoyable ride to see Jaden Daniels take over his QB and Washington, and I think we're going to see him get another win, get another dominant victory, and another fun performance here. I think the Commanders win 35-17. to Rams and Raiders. The Rams were on a bye week last week, and the Raiders, they suffered a loss to the Steelers, and they suffered a loss of their number one wide receiver, trading them away to the Jets, which we will talk about when we get to the Jets game, of course. This week, I think the Raiders are just suffering hit after hit, off-field issue after off-field issue, and that is going to pile up, get to the mental of the whole team, and I think the Rams, well-rested after a few players getting banged up, get that bye week coming into this one, are going to be able to handle the Raiders no problem, especially with Kyron Williams and that offensive attack. I think they will be rolling, and I think the Rams win this one 30-16. Chiefs and 49ers, the Chiefs were on a bye week last week, which is dangerous to see them get some rest, and then the 49ers, they beat my Seahawks, and they can really take it to teams that are below their level, but when they're competing against teams this season that are on their level or higher, it has been a rough go, and I think we are going to see that this week with the injuries they have been facing. They're not 100%. I think we are going to see the Chiefs, who have not even been playing at full power. They haven't looked their best, and they are still one of the best teams in the league right now, and I think we're going to see them take it to San Francisco. It will be a little close because I think the defense of San Francisco this goal will make them struggle just a little bit. However, I think the weapons that Patrick Mahomes has and just Patrick Mahomes being who he is as a quarterback is going to lead this team to victory 27 to 20. We got a lot of changes going on in this matchup. Let's start with the Steelers first because we have a lot to talk about with the Jets. They are going to Russell Wilson. They are switching up the quarterback. I don't know how good of a move that is because once we saw Russell Wilson leave the Seahawks, go to the Broncos, that was a disaster and who knows how it'll be on another new team on the Steelers. I predict his first week is not going to go easy. And for the Jets, they lost last week. Aaron Rodgers very frustrated with how that game went and how the season has been going for the Jets. But I'm sure he's going to have a smile on his face now because he has Devontae Adams back on his team. Well, well, well! <laughs> Traded to the Jets. We know how badly he wanted out of Vegas. He is now with his ex-QB reunited back together. And we know they are a deadly duo. And I especially think they are going to click right away because they already have that chemistry. And I think they are going to take it to the Steelers because, I, like I said, I just think Russell Wilson is not going to come out of the gate top for Pittsburgh. And I think the defense is definitely going to get to him for New York. And I think we are going to see the Jets have this rejuvenation 
motivation, this new happiness now that Aaron Rodgers got his guy. Devontae Adams is out of Vegas, and I think the Jets pick up the win 23 to 19. Ravens and Buccaneers. The Buccaneers absolutely destroyed the Saints last week, and they have looked offensively impressive the whole year. Baker Mayfield has looked so comfortable on this team, and Lamar Jackson and the Ravens have looked very comfortable with this new offense that has Derrick Henry added to it. They have been very dominant. They picked up the win last week, of course, and I think this is going to be a shootout. I think it's going to be a battle between two heavy, high-scoring offenses. However, I think the Ravens come out on the end. I think they are better built for four quarters, and I think they are going to prove it against the team that is hot, against the team that is really striking the iron right now offensively with Tampa Bay. I think they are going to get the last laugh late into the game, Baltimore, and I think they are going to win 30-27. to Cardinals and Chargers. The Chargers beat the Broncos last week. They had a very balanced attack with pass and run, and the Cardinals, they were brought down to earth after starting the season so hot. They played the Packers, took an L, although I don't think that'll be the rest of their season. I don't think they come back down to earth and stay there. I think it was just a bump in the road. I think the Cardinals will be able to return against a weaker defense and prove their offense can really shine when they are having a balanced attack. I think we are going to see that return. I think Kyler Murray has a redemption game from the week before, and I think the whole offense is going to thrive off of it. I think they will handle the Chargers and their defense. I think the final score is going to be Cardinals 27, Chargers 17. If you made it to the end of this video, let me know what you think of the recent trades in the NFL. Devontae Adams to the Jets, Amari Cooper to the Bills. What do you think? Leave it in the comments. I got this, you got this, we all got this. Like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Have a beautiful day.